Hello everyone. In this video, we will try to find the solution of a problem which says a person stands on a spring balance at the equator. We have to find number one by what fraction is the balance reading less than his true weight. Second part, if the speed of the earth rotation is increased by such an amount that the balance reading is half the true weight, what will be the length of the day in this case? So let's understand the scenario first. So let's say this is the earth. The person is standing on the earth at an equator and the mg force is acting at the center of the earth. Due to the rotation of the earth, the mr omega square centrifugal force will act outward direction. Right? So in that case, if this person is standing on a balance weight, net reading of that machine is going to be nothing but equal to the normal force which is n right so if we get the value of n so n is going to be mg minus m r omega square right so to get the fraction by which it is less than the true weight so here the true weight is nothing but equal to mg right so to get the fraction what we will get true weight minus the apparent weight which is nothing but mg minus m r omega square and divide by it the true weight right so by this you will get the fraction now so mg will cancel out so this will become m r omega square upon mg so m will cancel out so this will become r omega square upon g now here r is earth radius which is 6400 kilometer that means 10 raised to power 3 meter into omega is 2 pi upon 24 into 60 into 60 so that is the omega of earth and it is square upon 10 so if we calculate that we will get 3.35 into 10 raised to power minus 3 so this is the fraction which is less than the true weight now for the second part which is part b now in this case the speed of earth rotation is increased by such an amount that the balance reading is half the true weight so in that case so this n is nothing but equal to mg which is the true weight divided by 2 now in this particular case n will become true weight mg minus m r omega 1 square omega 1 is the new omega which is due to increase in speed of rotation of earth right so if we calculate that so mg minus m r omega 1 square is equal to mg by 2 further this will become m r omega 1 square is equal to mg minus mg by 2 so this will become r omega 1 square is equal to g by 2 so omega 1 value will be under root g by 2 r now the value of g is 10 upon 2 into 6400 into 10 raised to power 3 so this will become 8.83 into 10 raised to power minus 4 so this is omega 1 now to calculate the time period in number of hours we will get 2 pi upon omega 1 so this will return the result into seconds so let's convert this into r so 60 minute and 60 seconds so this will become 2 r so this is a solution of this problem 